Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Rewan. This is BioAnt News in Review. Could Neanderthals have been religious? That question was asked earlier this month in a post for NPR by Professor Barbara J. Caton. Neanderthals are known for complex behavior, like ornamentation and burial of the dead. Even though we can't attribute meaning to the elaborate burials, their ritualistic qualities make the question an interesting one to ponder. Another recent article may help us understand brain expansion in humans. Researchers found a genetic mutation in the hominin lineage associated with increased neocortex size. Now, this is not likely to be the only cause of human brain expansion, but it can still help us frame the bigger picture. In other news, researchers may have narrowed down what limits monkeys from developing speech. A recent study suggests, contrary to conventional wisdom, that monkey vocal tracks are actually conducive to speech sound production. Using x-rays of long-tailed macaque vocal tracks, they were able to simulate several common vowel sounds used in human language. They argue that these findings mean the biggest barrier to monkeys developing speech is a cognitive, not morphological one. Our big story today is on whether cesarean births are impacting human evolution by increasing infant head size at a faster rate than birth canals. The authors of this story argue that cesareans effectively prevent selection towards smaller neonate brain sizes. However, as many of our commenters pointed out, there are more factors at play influencing the decision to call for cesareans. For instance, the perception that a baby is too large and requires a cesarean may not be so accurate. The number of cesareans ordered due to reasons not related to infant head size, as well as simply out of convenience for the medical staff, is not insignificant. Not to mention the large amount of revenue they generate for hospitals. Furthermore, in many parts of the world, access to such medical interventions is far more rare. An important point missed by the article in its definition of evolution is the fact that what is considered adaptive is context dependent. If this procedure is not affecting reproductive fitness because of medical intervention, then it is not an agent of evolution at all. Even though this specific causal connection may not be clear, research on the interface between medical advancements, interventions, and biology is important and sure to continue. That's it for this edition of BioAnth News in Review. Thanks for watching and please like, share, and subscribe.